Aloha, this is Mr. Case, and we are looking at 13.2b. 13.2b. We've talked about feudalism as a type of government that replaced the huge, huge bureaucracy of Rome with smaller kingdoms, and even smaller than that, uh, little uh, private armies run by lords, and people would uh, uh, work like dogs for these people in exchange for a chunk of land and a place to live and protection. So feudalism was based on mutual obligations in which I give you a chunk of land, you give me uh, goods and services. So let's look at that feudal pyramid. King at the top, peasants at the bottom. King, you can put down, he was the top dog. There's nothing more to say really there. Underneath the king were the church officials called clergy, C-L-E-R-G-Y. That might be cardinals, archbishops, bishops, parish priests, but I call the clergy professional church dudes. Then come the nobles. The nobles are relatives of the king. They might be cousins, they might be brothers, they might be aunts, uncles, grandparents, but the king will use the nobles to help him rule because blood is thicker than water. Knights. You could put down that they are mounted warriors. Not anybody could be a knight. You had to train. And as you became a mounted warrior, riding on the back of a horse, you became very deadly. You learned how to use a lance, a sword, bows and arrows, knives, etc., etc. So the knights were uh, given a chunk of land and they owed their allegiance to their lord. Peasants. They were those who worked in the fields. They were farm workers. Peasants were farm workers. Underneath them were serfs. Serfs were peasants who could not legally leave the land. Why? Because they owed a debt and they had to pay it off before they ever thought about leaving. But when you think about leaving, where would you go? It's not safe to walk the roads with the Vikings, Magyars, and Muslims around. So serfs were bound to the land for sure. Underneath them would be slaves. So that's the hierarchy of the feudal pyramid. In Europe, your social class was well defined. You did not go from rags to riches. Um, your social class was inherited and determined by a person's prestige or honor and power. Also, these classes um, were those who fought, nobles and knights, those who prayed, the clergy, and those who worked, merchants. So those are the like the three echelons here of the social classes. Now, manners. A lord's manor was a self-contained world. The manor was the lord's estate, E-S-T-A-T-E. -E. It included his house or his castle, a church, workshops, peasants' homes, orchards, fields, barns, etc., etc. Now, with manneralism, the Lord gave serfs land, shelter, and protection in exchange for working in the fields. And as I said before, it was a self-contained world. If you did not have it, you had to make it. The, on a manor, the peasants produced almost everything needed for daily life. So in this self-contained world, you can put down crops, fuel, clothes, leather goods, lumber, metal goods. If you needed it, you had to make it. Under the harshness of manor life, peasants paid high taxes and lived a harsh life under the manor system. Your tax might be if you gathered a stick of firewood, you had to pay the Lord for the wood. Um, you were not allowed to shoot rabbits or deer in the Lord's uh, forest because that belonged to him. Um, so your diet was pretty much vegetables and the Lord's uh, diet was more the meat. So high taxes were paid. What's a tithe? T-I-T-H-E. Well, it is a 10% church tax. That's what a tithe is. So they paid 10% of all they uh, earned to the church to take care of the church and the priests, etc., etc. Anything above the 10% was offerings. 
So not only did they pay tithes to the church, but to the Lord, they paid taxes on grain, firewood. You had to pay a tax to get married and a tax to uh, um, grind your grain. So the peasants accepted this harsh life because they thought that God determined a person's place in society. Oh, well, God put me here. I'm stuck. I'm going to do the best I can. So it was a pretty static society in which static means it was kind of like a, uh, a snapshot in which you didn't move up or down. You're stuck. If your parents were peasants, so were you. If you came from a, a knightly class, then you're going to become a knight. Well, this is Mr. Case, and we are done with 13.2b. Have a good day, y'all. Bye-bye.